Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm great. I'm Things good. good. I, I, you know, you were here for the Halloween show and you played The Bachelor yes. because I was a bachelorette. But what I didn't know is that you had just flown directly back from shooting in Vietnam. Yes, it was, it was remarkable. Um, you know, the people were so, so kind, so giving, and so accepting of us being there filming. And uh, there was an older gentleman going by on his moped. And as he goes by, he says something in Vietnamese and looks at me. And then the actor that I was working with, um, Dustin Nguyen, he's just laughing. I go, wait, what did, what did the guy say? And he's like, an American soldier? What the hell is he doing here? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, so it was, it was interesting, though, to be there and see, like, where the history happened. So yeah. Very heavy and impactful for yeah. what I experienced as Jack. Did they recognize you there? <laughs> kind of. Um, kind of not really. Actually, you know, not at all. Um, <laughs> so I, we were there all in all about a week's worth of filming. And I worked every other day. So on the days that I wasn't filming, I was on set with my camera because I do a lot of photography. So I'm shooting Justin Hartley. I'm shooting Mel, Mel, uh, Melanie Liburd. I'm shooting our crew that's out there. And Justin was doing a scene with this gal, a local Vietnamese gal who didn't speak a lot of English. And at one point, she sees me with the camera and she like walks over and grabs me and pulls me over to where she and Justin are. And she goes, you, you take picture. I go, yeah, sure. And so I pulled my camera up. She goes, no, with him. All right, I think I was about to hand it off maybe to uh -huh. somebody else. She goes, no, with him. And points to big, good-looking Justin Hartley. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, you, oh, you, okay. And I take the photo. <laughs> and she goes, you'll email me. You'll email me. And I'm like, oh, you think I'm the on-set photographer? Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, no, no. Like, I'm usually, I look like this guy, you uh -huh. know, with the military uniform on. But yeah, so they didn't recognize me at all. That's weird. I thought you were everywhere, but m maybe not. Yeah, yeah. No, not in Vietnam. So... So this is so weird that they announced that it's ending in season six, right? And you're in season three. That's a... Why would they announce we're, it? We're, we're middle aged now. Right. Yeah. And it's we're like... over the hill, like, on our way to decline to, like, nursing home and then the grave. Yeah. But why uh, are they... Because uh, they just want to be con control the, the storylines? I mean, we, look, we never know where we're going to go. We never know what's going to happen. The show could have a huge spike season six, and everybody wants more um, beyond that. But I think creatively they're looking they have an idea of what they'd like to do to kind of wrap it up in this nice story. So at least the audience knows, the fans know they're going to get three more seasons, which is nice. Yeah. You can commit yeah. a little more. Um, it's not like, will it be on, won't it be on? Yeah. Um, but then beyond that, yeah, like maybe there will be more. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Is it, is it, um, Sterling K. Brown was nominated, uh, or not nominated, he actually was called the yeah. sexiest TV dad. Was that he hard? Is. Yeah, but <laughs> is that hard for you? Because, you know, it seems like you should have been in that category as well, right? Maybe. I don't know. I, when, when Sterling and I get our weekly meal to talk about us being sexy, right. I'll ask him. Right. Be like, hey, man. You, you took it down this year. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. Maybe next year I'll... Well, you got sexy, sexiest 41, I think. Okay. Right? You know what this is? This is really the gag to be like, test your eyes at 41. Yeah, I, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's pretty far away. I know, yeah, uh, cover your um, eyes. So I learned also your first job was on Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yeah. right? Yeah, my first paying gig was on Fresh Prince What did of you Bel -Air. do? I played party guest number one. Oh, bow. <laughs> yeah, I walk down the steps and I say, relax, Ash. She, she says, no one's allowed upstairs. And I say, relax, Ash, we're just taking a little tour. Ha, ha, ha. And then I walk off. <laughs> Oh, with, wow. With, with a girl on my arm. You yeah. still remember the line. Oh, I remember, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the whole experience. Do you remember, you know the theme song? I do. Would you I like do. to sing it for us? I, if you'd like me to, I will. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We're all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. Now, I'd like to take a moment, just sit right there. I'll tell you how it became known as the Prince of Bel-Air. Oops. <laughs> and it goes on and oh, on and on. on. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, we're gonna take a break. We tried to, uh, I, I <laughs> tried to get him with one of those things where I talk to someone and tell them what to do, and uh, it didn't work out. But we'll show you what happened. We're good on you. No, yeah. I, we tried. You we were, tried. You just pushed her out of the room. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Andy. Ellen asked me to remind you to subscribe to her channel so you can see more awesome videos, like videos of me getting scared or saying embarrassing things, like ball peen hammer, and also some videos of Ellen and other celebrities, if you're into that sort of thing. Oh, <laughs>